Hi guys. I know, long time no see. I feel like I say that every video. <laughs> but I'm trying, okay? I'm a student and a daughter, a sister, or a girlfriend. It's a lot of shit I have to balance, okay? I only think it's been like two weeks since my last video, so not as bad as two months, so it's something. But today is February 15th. Yesterday was Valentine's Day and um instead of doing a dinner yesterday we're doing one tonight it's like five o'clock now yeah it's five and our reservation is for seven the place is about a half hour away so i want to be ready by like 6 20. Um, ideally done with my makeup in the next hour though because i want time to do my hair i just washed it in the shower and i want to like style it and just just wear it down but like you know add my products and stuff like that i wanted to take this opportunity to do a makeup video for the people that voted on my instagram poll and wanted to see more makeup videos there were quite a people who voted i think the majority was um like lifestyle like vlogs and stuff so i gotta see what i could cook up with that because my days consist of class in the gym most of the time so I gotta see what we can do with that, but this is for the people that wanted something makeup related. I'm gonna be using a product my little sister got me. This is the One Size Matte Eye Topper. This is in the shade Battle Ready. It's like a brownish color, and I feel like it'll pair well with this top, which is like a deep brown. And then, I've used this in a video before, or the makeup, the sister's makeup video, that uh, Smooth Whip. Uh, I'm gonna try to like, use more of the products that i have i feel like i always stick to what i have and like neglect the new stuff but yeah i wanted to take this opportunity to make a video but also catch you guys up on what's been going on with me i've kind of been going through it a little bit i've been struggling with motivation a lot there's been a lot of issues with my health insurance and like going back and forth with that so i have not been to therapy in so long and unfortunately i probably won't be going for the next couple of months until everything with that gets sorted out but yeah, because of that and a bunch of stuff with like, I, yeah, I didn't mention this um, in my other video, but I was put on medication for my ADHD, which was like, yes, great. And it was like doing wonders for my focus. And I also applied for accommodations at my college. So I, I'm now able to like record lectures and I have extended test taking times and just stuff to try and like, you know, help me out the best way. I can. With me starting a new medication, obviously there are side effects usually and for me the side effects that I was having were pretty intense and I just was not comfortable staying on the medication anymore. So I um, went to go see my doctor and I told him about it and he started me on a medication called Vyvanse. At first I was taking a medication called Concerta and it literally cost almost $200 to fill the medication. I was like, um, I don't know what kind of money my doctor thinks I have, but baby, not like that. <laughs> so respectfully, I'm not feeling that medication because I just cannot justify paying $200 when the other medication was like $24 to fill. Like, what the fuck? And I would go back to that medication, but like, y'all, I was getting heart palpitations. I was becoming very irritable when the medicine or the medication would wear off. It just is was not a good fit for me sometimes these medications especially stimulants just it's kind of like a trial and error and you know i have to go back and let him know like maybe that ain't gonna work for me so hopefully there is another medication that i can try but yeah just kind of like that whole back and forth and like not being able to go to my therapist right now and just trying to kind of like thug it out <laughs> without seeing her you know with everything school and personal stuff that was going on was really hard i'm still struggling like with motivation in school and again i'm not on medication for my adhd anymore so i gotta like really do it all myself you know like i had to actually not depend on the meds for um improved focus and stuff like that so that's been tricky to navigate and also the personal stuff that i've had going on has really made it hard for me to like stay on top of my shit with school so i've been really struggling with that um so yeah with that that was kind of like discouraging and if i don't have motivation to study maybe i don't have motivation to pick up no camera i've been rotting in my bed most days than not you know i really try to just surround myself with my family because being around loved ones just like really helps i don't know see the bigger picture with stuff and like 
just feel a lot better for me personally been struggling with that i don't want to say it's better i feel better today because some of the personal things that i was going through like they're slowly resolving um which you know is good for me and it lessens my stress a little bit but you know there's still we're always going to be stressed about something girl i got anxiety you know a little bit about where we're going today we're going to this restaurant we've actually been there before i took him out oh my god three years two years ago two or three years ago for his birthday and we really enjoyed it and their bar section is so nice and we're like oh when we turn 21 like i can't wait to order drinks and i'm not 21 yet but he is so now he can get himself a little drink and we can like enjoy you know valentine's day our valentine's day being today you know so yeah just give me an excuse to get pretty put on some makeup i cannot tell you guys the last time i put on a full face of makeup so i'm very happy to have an excuse to do it and an excuse to pick up my camera because i've missed filming it's just when you don't have that motivation i don't want to come on here spreading bad vibes you know i'm sorry if it seems like i'm like talking a mile a minute i feel the need to rush even though there is no rush i just want to have more than enough time to do my hair because lately she has not been my little wash and go routine like i usually have my products and technique like you know already set and it's pretty much foolproof lately my hair has not been cooperating so i don't know i will say though if you are a curly girl and you have color treated hair whether that's dye or you know whatever um definitely look into the purology strength care line that those are the purple bottles i have the shampoo and conditioner and i got the gift set for christmas even my little sister like i had no product in my hair she was like your hair feels so healthy and like i was rinsing out the conditioner and my hair just felt so freaking soft and it's not like that oily ish feeling you get unfortunately with miel's products like they were moisturizing but i feel like it was too much oil in her product and it was just weighing my curls down and i don't have i have very thick hair but my curls i don't know they're i wouldn't say they're too tight but mm, as time has gone on and i've like straightened my hair and dyed it more my curl pattern has changed so they're not as tight as they used to be and i just feel like i really cannot go crazy with a bunch of products for one but also heavy products so i had to had to ditch that and i'm just using their little color fanatic it's like a leave-in spray this smells so good and it's you know pretty hydrating for my hair but yeah i would recommend that if you have colored hair and or you know damaged hair in any like respect to be honest and the conditioner is kind of like minty it all just smells so good to me but yeah that is the plan for tonight that's what's been going on with me i really want to get my shit together with school because this is my last semester of prereqs and i don't want to let what i have going on mentally fuck that up you know this is also the first semester that i have accommodation so it's kind of like getting used to that and like i have to go to a different place to take my exams and i have to do all this emailing beforehand it's kind of a hassle but it actually has been kind of good to you know be able to take my test in like a distraction reduced environment as they call it it's not distraction free because my ears pick up on everything like even a clock ticking i'm like focusing on when i should be reading the questions for my exam but it's it's been better for sure and being able to record my lectures without hearing a professor's mouth about it um has been great because i can go back and like actually hear what they're saying because especially now that i'm not on any medication for my adhd i zone out <laughs> so it's nice to have kind of like a backup when i zone out i know that i got it all and the program that they have, they train me on is called Glean, G-L-E-A-N. I don't know if any other schools have that, but if you guys are neurodivergent or struggle with focus in general, I would highly recommend that computer program. I don't know if you have to like be invited to use it because they did send me a link in my school email in order to download the software, but um, I would re recommend it. Like the whole format is just so like beginner friendly, I feel like. and. It was super easy for me to figure out how to use it and like you can make headings and you can do different events which are basically like different folders for each class and then you can title what chapter that recording is from you can add a little red sticker at a certain point in the audio that says like important so when you go back you know like where the most important parts are so you kind of like 
can make it a little more concise and just more organized when you go back and read it because my lectures are at least an hour plus so for today's makeup look honestly i want to do like a smoked out liner or not liner a smoked out shadow just like all over my top lid and then some lashes i told you guys about these i envy lashes that my sister put me onto. i don't think i'm gonna have enough time to like stack it the way that she does worst case i'm just gonna do mascara because i don't want to ruin the eyeshadow because i haven't done lashes in so long like i really just want to do it's already bad enough i'm trying new products with my eyeshadow so like i don't i want to be safe you know i don't want to be looking crazy in there luckily it's dim lighting in that restaurant but still you know but yeah we're doing great on time cool 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 but yeah guys i hope you, everyone else is doing well i know with everything going on in the world right now it is really hard to be positive and that also is another thing is like i internalize everything that i see like all of these graphic videos which when it comes to situations with what's going on in palestine especially i think that that is important because so many people have such a lack of empathy for them and i think that you know stuff like that is like the shock value is like really wakes people up and like hey you know these are people this is what this rhetoric is causing but it's just so it's so hard like i don't i don't want to don't cry me a river like i'll be fine those people that are going through it need fucking help but i'm saying like for me and how sensitive i can be to that material it, it weighs on me in ways that i didn't even think that it would um and i think about it every single day all the time and i don't know i just obviously wish that shit would stop but it's just horrible there's really no other way to put it it's horrible and I hate that we live in a country where our lawmakers are co-signing that shit and funding it and my fucking tax dollars are going to it. So whatever you can do, whatever you see, whatever mutual aid funds, GoFundMe is, um, Care for Gaza, like all that stuff, please, if you can, donate. Please continue boycotting. Um, I side at everyone at my college with a Starbucks cup. Yeah because it's never that fucking serious just it's been it's been rough to see all that stuff and to not really see much happening on our country then but yeah it's just been it's been a lot but like i said the people actually going through it it's more than a lot for them but yeah just try and stay aware try and be on top of ways that you can help as much as possible emailing emailing your lawmakers and don't fucking respond of course but you know things that we can try mostly organizing for me i feel like getting out there protesting not everyone is ready to go get locked up in the name of justice but you know if you can go and protest you know don't judge people that you feel like are not doing enough if people are just doing boycotting or just posting and that's all that they can do that's all that they can do it's better than nothing but yeah it's been it's been rough seeing all that and how everything is just going down um and not even just with palestine other countries as well but that's also been another reason why i've just been like just sitting in bed like frozen because it's just like it weighs so heavy on my heart personally it's just hard to be optimistic and happy like you almost feel guilty being happy when you know that there's someone on the other side of the fucking world going through hell and i really wish more people took stuff like boycotting and um, you know fundraising and stuff like that more seriously because you know that's the least that we can do anyway I'm off my soapbox y'all already know how I feel about that shit I told you guys uh, a couple videos ago that I have a private story on snapchat that's like a spiritual and wellness private story and I was posting about how Pluto is an Aquarius and how because of that and like the planet um what it's ruled by and like what pluto um represents which is like transformations rebirth death etc that a lot of people are going to be seeing big transformations in their you know close family and friend groups and oh my god like girl <laughs> i, I should have realized that i was basically predicting my own damn future like i feel like even within not even family but within my own self like i've just realized that a lot of things and certain people are just not for me anymore i don't want to keep like trying to just keep the peace <laughs> for the sake of doing that 
because I think that not only does it hinder me, but it's hindering the person that I'm not being honest with. And if you have someone in your circle, whether that's a friend or a family member that has that one thing that like really bu bugs you or you feel like they're holding themselves back in some way or something that you feel is like makes them problematic in whatever respect, like if you were a real friend to me, I would want to hear somebody not sugarcoat that shit and tell me, you know, what you're doing is, is not cool. Um, and a lot of people say that they want a friend like that, they want a family member like that, and when you're actually real with them, they they don't like it and they don't want to hear it. So it can be tricky, I understand, but at the end of the day, if I got something to say, I'm gonna say it, okay? This isn't exactly a tutorial, I'm so sorry y'all. I'm just kind of wanted to catch up more than anything, but I feel like my in-depth uh, beginner's makeup tutorial really like goes into my technique and stuff and this is just the base so I feel like you guys already know what the drill is with that if you don't go tune into that video it's actually one of my best um one of my most viewed videos I don't know why <laughs> I think it was just very informative and I'm glad it it helped people because you know we all deserve to be a little expert in our own face our own and makeup. I have been in my natural nail era. I did these nails on myself yesterday and these are my real nails y'all. Just a little red heart. Um, I was using the no chip the Beatles kit off of Amazon that my parents got me for Christmas years ago. I had broken the plug to my old drill so I had waited. I had ordered another one and it finally came in so I was able to do my nails at like nine o'clock at night um, the other night but it gave me something to do. Like I was so happy to finally do my nails because I was tired of bothering my coworkers to do them for me. But yeah, I'm so happy because now I can finally do my toes. Girl, I still got the same polish on them from Christmas, my Christmas toes. Like who am I? I'm not usually high maintenance in the sense that like every month, every two weeks, I'm getting a fresh set, lashes, nails, hair, like no, but I like to keep up with myself in those ways. My hands and feet always have to be done, whether it's by me or someone else. So I'm so thankful that that drill came because it's about that time. I was gonna do them today, but I was surprised with this day night. So we gotta get cute instead, which I'm okay with. But these toes are getting done this weekend, okay. That also means my sisters are back to abusing me and making me their nail tech. Which is okay though, I love doing people's nails. I would not do it as a career though, not too much. And that shit's hard, but I like doing it. To people close to me, you know, pay attention to detail. My camera's overheating, so I'm gonna take a minute, try and get a little further in my makeup, and I'm gonna try to improve the lighting because the sun's setting, but I'll come back when I'm like probably doing shadow more than likely because I gotta do brows and set my face, so. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I just finished my base and my brows. I set my under eyes as well. So everything's powdered down for the most part. Let me not forget. Highlight real quick. As usual, half the products I use are e.l.f. You already know. This is a little much, okay. So we actually do not have time for lashes. I know, I never do lashes anymore. But I feel like no one really does lashes anymore. Like. I don't know, sometimes it's just too much fucking work. Ooh, okay, I don't know why this highlight popping. <laughs> this much, usually it's never this popping. Oh, you know what, probably because I just sprayed my face. Ha ha ha. Who cares, it's cute. Highlight's done. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand first, this one size uh, eyeshadow I was talking about. Cause I'm scared, I'm scared to apply it. I really am. That's like a true brown. That's very pretty though. I'm putting it with a flat shader brush. It feels like very satin-y. Feels great on the eyes, honestly. If you guys can see what I'm doing, the sun has gone down and I need to order a light box so bad, but in the meantime, I'm just applying it like right above the crease there just because I'm probably gonna use a darker transition shade. Let me get some more back on my hand. I'm gonna use my bronzer in the crease at first and we'll see. Actually, 
that is a little on the warm side and this is very cool so i actually am probably going to take something from this palette this is the elf it's called the new classics and it has some a lot of browns and shades like that so i feel like that'll be perfect Oh, it dries down on its own. But yeah, it's like not as dark as I thought it would be. It's like the perfect brown. Like that's exactly what I wanted. So perfect. And it dries down like kind of like a satin matte. I would say because this eye has already started to dry. And you can tell like it's on the more matte side. But I'm still going to set it with an eyeshadow. Just make sure it doesn't move anywhere. And then we'll blend something in the crease. I'm, I'm going to see what works. But. Okay, one size. I know they have like really good products. Everyone always talks about their stuff, but that's my first product. I've tried by them personally. Yeah, I feel like my bronzer is just like too warm. So let me see what's in here. I'm gonna use a mix of Uptown, which is this light brown, and then Earth, which is, it looks like purple on camera, but it's more of like a um, dark brown. Just to have some dimension in the crease. Oh. Thank God, nothing shattered. That would make me cry right now. Okay, we got like 15 more minutes until it's six. So, like, we're making good timing here. So I'm just blending this out. Putting a little bit of the earth on the outer third. Just again, kind of contour the eye a little bit. But overall, I'm just kind of like trying to diffuse everything. I'm gonna wipe my brush off just to blend everything together. I would say this is not the easiest to blend though because I'm noticing right in here where there was no shadow, where it's like mixing with the one size and the eyeshadow. It's like not really blending. So that's so why I'm just trying to diffuse it the best I can with a clean-ish brush. This is like pretty much what I was going for anyway, so. All good. This is like the darkest eyeshadow look I've done in so long. Like I usually will put some bronzer in my crease if I'm doing a full face and like call it a day. See, it's not really blending. It is, but it isn't, you know? <laughs> Luckily, I know a thing or two about a thing or two when it comes to eyeshadow, so I can finesse some stuff. But that's why I'd be so scared to try new stuff because when I usually do my makeup, it's when I need to go somewhere. I'm like, I don't want to try nothing new in case I fuck it up. Luckily, this is not turning out horrible though, so we got some we can work with. I think I'm gonna tight line with a black liner just to really pull together like this whole smoky vibe, you know. But thank you, Lexi, for the liquid shadow she's very cute very fall vibes i think she's cute so now hmm, do i want to add a shimmer i feel like uh, i don't know should i should i i might do it in there like do it in the inner corner but other than that no okay so let's tight line i'm just using the wet and wild Coal liner, yeah, coal crayon. That was cute. Definitely gonna try that something with that color again because it was very pretty. And I do have to powder everywhere else because I baked under my eyes and stuff, but like everywhere else needs needs a little touch up. But this will also give your lashes a thicker appearance as well. Ooh, it makes my eyes water though. See the difference? Like, it just looks thicker. And if you don't want it to transfer to your lower lash, just try and like fan it and dry a little bit before it, before it blinking too much. Yeah, that's as good as she's gonna get. It's probably gonna transfer to your lower lash line anyway, but if you really like hate that look, just take a um, Q-tip and go in there. We're gonna curl lashes real quick. Also, if you have earrings or piercings take a q-tip wet it and clean it please <laughs> i hate to see makeup caked up in a piercing or on people's earrings 
it's good to blend to your ear but like you gotta you gotta make it look seamless you know what i mean my head looks crazy from the side y'all so sorry if i don't have as much time as i would like i'm probably just gonna do um, a claw clip and just leave some hair out it's kind of like a messy claw clip moment if you have like a decent length of lashes and you have the right mascara and technique like you really won't need falsies my lashes are long ish they're not thick at all but they've gotten a little longer over the years um, especially with me not wearing falsies anymore so if i curl them really good and i apply the mascara on the ends first before i bother getting anything on the the roots of my lashes and if i use this lash sensational yeah she'll come out cute after a couple of coats you know you know back and forth will get your brother and i kind of like move it side to side like that on the very ends to elongate them first and then on the second coat you can use that to like thicken and stuff aren't these earrings so cute got them from target but yeah cleaned off my piercing and my little beauty mark here i'm gonna powder the rest of my face while this first coat is drying <laughs> not the powder beard i'm also going to use the makeup revolution super fix super hold misting spray for the first time tonight too just to see how it holds up my younger sister put me on when we went shopping not too long ago because i like the charlotte tilbury but i want to know like if there's any alternatives you know if ever i can't find it it's out of stock or whatever so we'll see how she holds up tonight I won't really be wearing makeup for many hours, but still, just to see. Okay, so I just finished. It's six. And see what I mean? Like, if you really kill it with the mascara application, like, you won't have to do all that. But anyway, now to the hair. Honestly, like, look at that. This is just... This definition... And all I did was shampoo and conditioner. Like, you guys, I put a little bit of this on the center. This is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream and Pancake Sacks. And then in a second, I'm going to go with the Wet n Wild um, Coal Liner. This is in brown. And go around it and just do clear gloss on top. But this is the Color Fanatic spray I was telling you about. It smells so good. I don't have enough time to like full on diffuse, I don't think. So the heater in the car is gonna have to do most of the drying action, which I hate having to like dry my hair that way or like air dry it because I know it's not the best for it. But girl, we gotta do what we gotta do today. Just gonna rub that in. Make sure those edges not looking ghostly because of the powder. Attention to detail, you know. Even if they're not the most defined, that's okay. I'm just definitely wearing my hair down tonight, you know. I'm gonna use a little mousse, the TGIN rose water mousse. I'm not even so low, so just a little. I'm just gonna run this through you. Okay, I'm okay with my hair looking like a little more fluffy. I hate that word, or poofy, like ugh, no. But I'm okay with it looking a little less defined. Okay, hair is done. I'm gonna go put all this stuff in, I'll be right back. Okay, don't mind my foggy ass mirror. I, it's clean. I don't know why it gets like that, but anyways, this is the top that I'm wearing. This is from H&M. It's a brown like halter um, neck bodysuit pants. Y'all already know I love these pants from Shein, even though they really don't fit. But jewelry, this bracelet is from Babe. This watch is from Babe. It's from Fossil. Um, the hoop earrings I told y'all are from Target. <laughs> This little black ring, oops, this gold and black ring I'm wearing, it's from a, somewhere in Michigan, it's like a family owned place, sorry, but yeah, that's what is on the body, I'm gonna wear my pointed black heel boots, I was gonna do like a jean jacket over top of this, but for some reason I just don't like how it looks together, so I'm probably just gonna do my black puffer just so I have like something over my shoulders before we get in there. But then like, you know, I'm gonna take it off and this is gonna be the whole fit. But 
Let me show you guys the face real quick. So it's matte right now, but it's that brown liner, the, I don't wanna say liquid lipstick, but that matte little lip uh, product that I put in the center. This is how the eyeshadow came out and the whole face. And then we're just wearing the curls down today. If we have time, I'll show you what babe is wearing before we leave. If not, I'll show you when we get there. But we're probably gonna leave in like the next five, 10 minutes. So first case, I'll talk to you guys when we're on the way or when we're there. Okay guys, we made it here. I didn't get a chance to show you, but if you can kind of see babes wearing all black, we are supposed to coordinate, but I feel like that's close enough because I have mostly black on too. We're gonna get seated and then I'll let you guys know what we end up getting. Okay guys, our food just came out. I got a pulled pork sandwich and some mashed potatoes. Javon got his usual jambalaya. It's just rice, shrimp, sausage, and he got mashed potatoes as well. And then we had our artichoke dip for um, an appetizer. <laughs> We're about to grub.